This is Prowl 1701 with a review of my Phantom Staff. It's a stunt staff, actually. It's really just two Dominics, but you can order them as a staff and it's a little cheaper. Now, this is a. Uh, I'd gotten a stunt saber as a prize in one of the raffles and I liked it so much because usually I get sound savers. If you see my other reviews, uh, most of them are sound savers. But I really wanted to get a staff and I like the idea of uh, being able to get it in a, as a stunt saber. It's just one, it's a lot cheaper. Two, I've noticed I use stunt sabers differently when I practice. Like when I'm practicing with a sound saber, I tend to tune my swings and practice form in with the sound whereas a stunt saber I just kind of get lost in the exercise and the practice so I wanted to go with a stunt saber they uh I really do like them as well I wanted to go sith for my staff and I got them in blazing red you see right here I know it looks a little orange just because the camera tends to uh overexpose the light because there's it's they're so bright it overexposes but they're actually a very deep red I really like the um blazing red in the mid-grade as opposed to the ultra edge so I went with the mid-grade blades for them you can see right here I got the standard switch most of mine have AV switches but stunt savers don't really offer those much so I went with the, I got the standard switch here with the pommels. these of course are twin savers and since I ordered them as a staff I even tend to use them as a pair even uh, when I'm just dual wielding, I tend to use them as a pair. I like that. I don't really use them as a single saber. I do a lot of times. I use my other sabers just by themselves. But I like to dual wield these. They're really fun. See if we can... Oh, yes, the coupler. I got this coupler as opposed to the regular coupler. The regular coupler is uh, much smaller. It's actually when you thread it in to form the staff, you can't even see the regular coupler. It's just the two ends kind of meeting. But I like. I really like this coupler. It's uh, longer, and I think it adds a little bit to the design of the staff. Let's see, set this over here. Go into a little more detail on it. Now, the, the Dominix really is just a longer version of the Dark Initiate. I like it because it has these two choke points, which are perfect for gripping. It's actually quite possibly the most comfortable saber that I have. It's a tough tie between it and my Initiate. But I really liked it. The Saber, my first stunt Saber is also a Dominix. It's a Guardian Blue one. So I knew I'd like the feel of it when I ordered my Blazing Red ones. And again, it's kind of nice just having stunt, a stunt Saber. Uh, I exercise differently with it when I or practice differently with it. And again, I always use them as a pair. They go really well together. I like them. I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to turn it to the staff as soon as I explain how the batteries work. The pommel unscrews right here. And then the... So here's your lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries. Make sure if you do order a saber that you do get a charger to go with it. Because these of course are rechargeable. So you'll want a charger. All you have to do is, don't pull it out any further than this for one, you'll risk damaging your wires. Just take the strip of Velcro off. It's there just to keep it from kind of rattling around in here so it don't clank when you're swinging the saber. Just take that off and then pop your batteries out and pop them right in the charger and charge them up. Uh, these come out pretty easily. Every now and then you may get one that it's a little harder to get out. They clamp a little tighter, so you might want to get a flathead screwdriver and prime out if you need to. Not very difficult. We'll take that out there. Ah, this just screws right in see again one of the things I liked about this um, coupler is it extends out as you can see here it extends further out where the regular one it doesn't when they're screwed together the two ends of the sabers just meet but it adds a little design there I just think it looks better personally we'll do the same thing with this one we'll take that little palm off now a lot of people on their staffs, they'll use 24-inch uh, blades, the little initiate <coughs> blades as they're called. They're only 24 inches. Uh, a lot of people find that for staffs, or staves, it makes it easier to manage, easier to spin. I have 32-inch blades on these, and as you can see, um, it's massive. It's very long. Matter of fact, I'm five foot six. When I measured this out, it's 86 inches. It almost hits the roof. See, doing the math, that's about 7 feet 2 inches, I believe. That's a big staff. It's uh, not the easiest thing for me to twirl. 
but I do like to practice with it. Uh, not a lot of room in here really to swing it around, but when I'm outside, I have plenty of room to really work with it. Yeah, hit the fan. So, uh, I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of nice to have a staff. It handles very differently than a regular saber. Uh, and I like the fact I can break it down into two sabers one on one. I think it looks nice. It makes a good Sith saber. Uh, I enjoy it. Ultra Sabers makes a good product. And of course these are made for dueling. You can duel with these. They're for show and for dueling. That's what I like about Ultra Sabers. You can duel with them or you can just hang them up on the wall. They're made of a really good quality. And again, this is the Phantom Staff, which is basically just two Dominix Sabers with a and a black anodized plush coupler, uh, 32 inch blades in mid-grade blazing red. And I have to give this, I actually think I would give this staff 100 out of 100, maybe 99 out of 100, but I, quite possibly 100 out of 100. It's really impressive to me. So, I do. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and um, if you have any questions, just head to ultrasavers.com and go to their forums where Myself and plenty of other people will be there to help you out with anything you might need. Take care. Thank you for watching.